Hi, Rick here with Vintage Guitars. In this segment we're going to cover the features of our V6 Thomas Blog Signature Model. I'm here with industry legend Trev Wilkinson to talk about the specific features he's built into this particular guitar that also features a range of industry-leading Wilkinson hardware and pickups. Thanks for coming by, Trev. You're welcome. We've covered the V6 a bit now, yeah. and you can watch some of our other videos covering this style of guitar. This will have many of the same features, but there are some very specific things about this that Thomas Blug has worked with you over the years. Um, this guitar was um, based off his original guitar, which was what year? 61. 1961. And there's a couple of neat features we can start with the electronics. Yeah, I think the first thing we need to say to everybody is go on YouTube and, and, and YouTube Thomas Blue. Watch him play. And watch him and listen to him oh because the guy is an absolute monster. Yeah, phenomenal and, um, He started out with his 61, which he was not precious about. He just did to that guitar what he needed to do to make it, as he calls it, a tool for his profession. Yeah. So he wasn't precious about it. He changed loads and loads of stuff on it. And um, he's always been impressed with the way vintage have done guitars at their price point especially and he wanted to be a part of it so we kind of incorporated a lot of the things that he's done to his guitar in this guitar which makes it the Thomas Blue model and makes it actually unique. Yeah, yeah. Now this has a um, what we call the no tone loss or no treble loss condenser. It's a very simple circuit but it, it does work and it's something that you may or may not use. But a little capacitor on the volume control so that when you wind it back you don't lose as many highs as well. Yeah. No, without it. Correct. It's a personal taste thing, Yeah, but that's what he, that's what he wants. Yep. Whenever we do a signature model, if we're going to do a signature model, we're going to make it the way it is. Yep. We're not going to pay lip service to them and say, oh yeah, we'll make you a signature model and then not, not do it. Yep. What you get is what you see. It's the way he wanted it, exactly, exactly. the way he exactly. wanted it, from the exactly. neck profile to the body shape, yep. everything. Yep. Yep. And there's a little surprise down in that lower tone knob. Yeah, um, he decided that he loved the sound of the guitar the way it was, but there was sometimes he just wanted to little to fatten up the sound a little bit and give it a little bit more power. So what he actually did to his own guitar and what we've done to this is we put an extra coil in here, which boosts the output of these two pickups. So that it really will take them over the top, fatten up the sound simply by pressing the bucket switch. Yep. And now does it boost the the middle and the bridge or it the doesn't neck? boost the middle? It boosts the bridge and it boosts the neck and the neck. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. And then. That also becomes a hum cancelling coil, as well as a boost coil, and the centre pickup is actually reverse round reverse polarity, so that when you've got it in the normal position, in positions four and two, then it's hum cancelling. And it went with it out, then you're really hum cancelling in all the positions. Yes, interesting. So you've got a lot, yeah. a lot going on in this guitar. It's fantastic. A lot going on in this guitar. It's part of the Icon series, so it's obviously distressed. Yep. I think his guitar's a little worse than this right now because he's been doing it for many, many years. <laughs> yeah. Yep, this has your distressed hardware. It does. And tell me about the pickups that are used in this particular model. Um, he really liked the sound of the standard Wilkinson WVS pickup mm -hmm. because I, I thought working with Thomas Gosh, we're going to have to really, really match these pickups absolutely perfectly. And he just picked the guitar up and played it, plugged it into his rig, it sounded just like Thomas Blue. I said, can we change anything? No need to. Yeah, and these are calibrated. Fantastic. Yeah, exactly the same as you get in a V6. In a V6. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And the bridge is the same WVC bridge, and um, those eagle eyed amongst you will notice there is a screw missing. Yes, we get that's because about he's that. got the screw. He's the screw. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is going to be exactly like his guitar, and that's the way his original guitar was. He lost the screw, so. If you have to ask why the screw's missing on, I guess we couldn't get you one, but it's suspect to be without the screw, exactly like his 61. So yep. Check him out on YouTube. Yeah, fantastic. For more information about this guitar or any of our other guitars, visit VintageGuitarsUS.com.